welcome to this new video in which I'm gonna show you how to run the hero term to uh, correlation test using Stata. It's quite simple. We have for uh, the purpose of the tutorial a database containing information in uh, on macroeconomic variables such as GDP, uh, cross fix capital formation, general government general spending. We have growth and as well as general government investment. I will run a regression and show you how to use a regression result in order to run the correlation test so if the first time you are watching one of my videos do not hesitate to subscribe to the youtube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose my next video yeah so let's start first of all with estimation of a linear regression so we will run a rec command rec uh, followed by a dependent variable which will be here a gdp in current local currency and as dependent variable we have a uh, cross fixed capital formation general government investment percentage of gdp all those variables so we just click on ok and we have the result of our linear creation creation in this case is not purpose so we'll try first of all to predict our residual terms so just use the command predict and give a name to our residual we call them uh, individual terms and then comma and r to say to stata that variable that we are going to predict is residual and as we have first run a linear version the residual that will be predict will be the residual of our linear that we then click on ok and can see that a new variable has been generated called uh, residual terms that is the residual terms of our just run model on uh, GDP and the impact of uh, some variable like cross capital formation, general government investment, and general government final consumption on the GDP. So, uh, as we have pretty our uh, residual terms, uh, we need to set a uh, time data because the correlation has sense in time series data as well. We have time series data, so we set our time series uh, variable by using the command gset. Uh, followed by the name of our time sale variable which is here here then we click on ok and our time variable is set from year 1982 to uh, 2018 which is the horizon of our data, data. so uh, last step is to run a model with our residual term so we uh, request bring our command correct our dependent variable in the regression will be a residual terms and uh, independent variable will be a value of a residual term so we we'll use l dot residual term or lab one residual term. After that, we will use lab two l dot l two dot residual, and finally we will include our third lab our lab three residual, and we estimate the model. And in our model, the most important thing to add is the probability of Fisher. Probability of Fisher give the uh, global significance of our model. We give global significance of lab uh, value of error terms. The test of calculation aim is to test whether or not a uh, lab value of GDP significantly influence the current value so as we can see our probability is uh, 0 0.000 that uh, lead to the projection of null hypothesis uh, which is that our coefficient are, are null so uh, interpretation is that our uh, error term are uh, correlated and is not good for linear regression because in a uh, estimation of the linear regression by least square one of the hypothesis is that the error term must be non autocorrelated and hypothesis is violated in our case in the uh, future video we will show you how to uh, correct this autocorrelation using for example, the generalized uh, square or other transformation in order to correct a non correlation term. So that's it for this uh, new video. And if you have not yet done, do subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as activating the notification bell in order not to lose my next publication. As do not hesitate to uh, let me thumbs up, it will be a pleasure to know that all before we are making a uh, increasingly uh, improve our level in statistical model for social sciences so uh, in time soon for another video